My name is Joseph Kwaku, popularly known as DJ Kwaku. I'm the chair of the steering committee, the founding chair of Voice One Africa. And I'm going to share some few words with all of us. But before then, I just want to highlight the countries that are represented in Voice One Africa. We have um, 23 countries represented in Voice One Africa over these 12 months. Um, we have Ghana, South Africa. We have DRC Congo, DRC, that's Congo DRC, Zambia, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Malawi. Yeah, if you hear your country, you can just give us a shout out <laughs> with an emoji or something. Um, so I'm starting Ghana, South Africa, Congo DRC, Zambia, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Yay. Malawi, Seychelles, Togo, Liberia, Gabon, Tanzania, Kenya, Sierra Leone, Cameroon, yeah, Cote d'Ivoire, nice, yeah. South Sudan, Egypt, <clears throat> Gambia, the Gambia, right, as they love to call it, Burkina Faso, oh, yeah. Uganda, um, Niger, and Mozambique. It's amazing, like, it's amazing that oh, yeah. um, over this few months we've been able to have such a, a strong um, network of amazing talent from across all these places in africa my name is joseph kwaku popularly known as dj kwaku i'm the chair of the steering committee the founding chair of voice one africa and it's difficult um, it's a battle to believe that our africa will be strong and united you know 65 years it's been 65 years since Ghana, the first sub-Saharan African country attained independence from the colonizer. It's been 65 years of empty talks, speeches and agreements with little action, 65 years of subjugation and conformity to global demands at the expense of our people, 65 years of disempowerment shrouded in aid, international policies and treaties, 65 years of powerlessness, dependence and shame, when will Africa wake up? When will we arise? You know, our founding fathers and mothers who gave their lives for what we enjoy today are probably wondering what we've done with what they gave us. You know, we have sold our birthright for temporal gains, political favors, loans, and grants. Our leaders are celebrating oh, certain yeah. infrastructure development while the West plan how to keep us undeveloped. While China is busily annexing our lands through bilateral lending and destroying our natural resources, the pan-African agenda must stand. You know, so Kwame Nkrumah's voice echoes, we must unite now or perish. The visionaries of African unity tried, they tried, but predators had already penetrated in the fold. Wolves in sheep clothing, traitors, under the leash of imperialists, they sabotaged the Pan-African vision for selfish gains. Here we are today still dreaming of what it could be like if Africa were united, when we could have actually be experiencing it. So it's now our turn, right? It's our turn and it's our time for the Africa we want to be realized. And the youth are the largest force in Africa today. When we collectively say enough is enough, and we really mean it, they will hear us. But to get there, we must first acknowledge that though different, we share similar cultures and experiences. We must be familiar with each other. We must build networks, experience each other's cultures. We must share our joys, our pains, and our frustrations. And most importantly, we must share our visions and aspirations. Only then will we realize that though our geographies may differ, our dreams are similar. This shared vision and the unity of purpose that it brings will empower us from within to fight for the realization of a united federated state of Africa. Those of us who are connected in Voice One Africa will attest um, after spending a year together that we are more similar than we thought. Eric mentioned it earlier in his address. We appreciated our diversity and we have learned greatly from each other. We have found mentors and drawn inspiration from people we otherwise could never have met, but for this platform. In one year, we have achieved all we have and received the connections and following 
social media following we have because to some extent, the youth still believe in the potential of a united Africa. And without financial rewards, we extended ourselves and used our skills to push forward the Pan-African agenda. So I would like to say congratulations to all of us, especially those of us who really committed time and made all the things we've been able to achieve so far come to, come to be. Our vision is to see a knowledgeable and a confident African youth who are committed to building a strong, united and progressive Africa in their generation and beyond. So Voice One Africa is proudly Pan-African. We are a grassroots organization. We project bottom-up perspectives at higher levels. And from our position, we are able to uncover and push forward provocations for a more inclusive and transformative change towards a better Africa for its people. Arts, media, and culture in all its forms are crucial tools for the kind of activism we prefer. And that's how come we're using these artistic means to communicate the messages we're doing. So you must remember, as I, I, I close now, that you don't have the right to complain when you are doing nothing to change the situation. The era of mere complaining is over. The answer lies in you and I. So we must not live the life that's given us by our environment and circumstances. You must consciously push yourself beyond the options life provides you within your context. And Voice One Africa provides opportunities beyond our immediate context. The whole of Africa is our turf, and we are the keys to the glories of realized dreams. Join us and let us build the Africa we want today. I would like to ask you, what's your African dream? What kind of Africa do you want? Um, if you want to be part of Voice One Africa and to connect, you just find us on all our social media platforms. It's at Voice One Africa, and you send us a message, you share your contact details, or you send them a message, we'll share the link with you for you to join us.